We traveled all the way to Kingston, Ontario to find out about the Prime Minister's travel to the Bahamas. Remember, he went there over the New Year's, he was the guest of the billionaire philanthropist, the Aga Khan. And a key question remained about that travel. How did the Prime Minister and his family get from Nassau, Bahamas, over the open ocean, 115 kilometers, to the Aga Khan's private island? The travel back and forth from Nassau to the island uh, happens on uh, the Aga Khan's private helicopter, which he offered us the use of. That answer is a big deal. Federal law prohibits the Prime Minister from using private aircraft. And Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister, just admitted he did just that. NDP leader Thomas Mulcair immediately issued this statement. At the beginning of a tour of Canada, which the Prime Minister is trying to use to shift the focus away from his government's recent ethical breaches, he has admitted to breaking the law. Trudeau also said he never disclosed his close personal friendship with the Aga Khan, the founder of a development organization that has received more than $300 million in federal foreign aid funds. I have uh, not seen uh, a list of uh, associates or family friends that could cause uh, problems and I, I didn't provide any names on that but uh, the fact that the uh, Aga Khan has been a, a longtime family friend is uh, well known. He was a, a, a pallbearer at my father's uh, uh, mildly publicized funeral uh, a number of years ago. Trudeau can count on likely several meetings with the Conflict of Interest Commissioner over this issue. In the meantime, he's on a two-day swing through southern Ontario, part of a national listening tour that his office says will help him remain committed to Canadians. This is an opportunity for me uh, to hear from all of you, or from many of you, uh, to listen to your concerns, uh, to address them. Is there uh, anyone with a question for me? Oh yeah, they had questions, some tough ones. The audience, which was not screened ahead of time, grilled Trudeau on everything from the environment, health care, pharmacare, and the problem with the public service payroll system known as Phoenix. The government needs to start releasing some correct, truthful numbers so the Canadian public can know what the colossal fiasco that Phoenix really is. After an hour of questions in Kingston, Trudeau headed down the 401 to another hour of questions in Belleville. Trudeau also made whistle stops in Manatick, in Napanee, and in Brockville, where he hung out with some school kids at a place called the Aquatarium, where they were learning about sea otters. The Prime Minister has one more day of this. Friday, he's going to start his day in, at CFB Trenton. He'll move up to Peterborough, Ontario, and end the day for, with a big town hall meeting in London, Ontario. Why is he doing this? It's a pretty clear answer. For the last month, we've been talking about Trudeau, his billionaire friends, or cash for access with millionaires. And on this trip, he's rubbing shoulders with ordinary Canadians. In Kingston, Ontario, I'm David Aiken for the National Post.